Hey everybody, I'm back. So I took a few days off from making YouTube videos because I was finishing off my Python course. I'm happy to report that today, was it Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday? I've lost track. Today I finally finished the Python course, um, or at least the principal part of it. What I've been working on the last few days has been the quiz questions. Writing quiz questions is like pulling your teeth. It is uh, the most draining and tedious part about course creation. So what's the subject of this particular vlog? Besides the fact I'm very much relieved that this is pretty much done. I just waited for my editor to give me the final, to do the final edits and so forth. And then I just go click and I press live and the Python course will be live on Studio Web. Fantastic. Woo! Um, it has to do with the distribution of the tedious work. We all run into this, whether we're developers or uh, whether whatever, whatever profession we happen to be in. There's always these elements of tedium, these these things things that has to, have to be done that are important, but they're really boring and they're really hard to do mentally. Like to do quiz questions. Let me tell you, I can only do an hour at a shot and I have to go take a break for 20 minutes, half an hour, because it's just so mentally draining. I'd rather be writing, uh, uh, I'd rather be writing object-oriented code, threading code in Java. So if anybody's ever done threading in Java or threading anywhere, you know how, how that's, what's that like? So you, you get the idea. So when you have really tedious tasks which you have to handle, the key to doing it is just to just start doing a little bit every day, a little bit every day just to get it done. And uh, because if you keep hold, pushing it off, pushing it off until you have a huge amount of work to do and it's pure tedious work and you have a tight deadline, you're going to be in for uh, some hell there. You're going to be in some, for some hell. So my Python course has to be ready, had to be ready rather for mid-August. So I, come hell or high water, I was pushing it through now. That's one of the reasons, by the way, I made the announcement on YouTube. I used YouTube as a pressure. I said, I'm coming out with this course, so pre-selling it, so that gave me more fire to want to do that tedious quiz, quiz, quiz question building. And uh, so we started tackling it, myself and my editor, uh, and it really forced us to uh, push it out. That's one of the tricks in terms of motivation is to let the public know what you're doing and then public notifications, uh, you know, there's, there's pressure. There's pressure on you to come through in, in terms of what you said you were going to do. So that's what we did here. Yeah, so to summarize, uh, you have a tedious task ahead of you. Just start tackling it. Do a little bit every day, 10 minutes a day, half an hour a day, whatever it is. Just, just start tackling it every day so it's... You don't have this wall of crap you're gonna to have to deal with uh, with tight tight deadlines so going forward uh, I'm just waiting for as I said my editor to finish with the edits and then from there um, yeah from there it's gonna be uh, much smoother sailing because I did the huge server move today also ironic not ironically but uh, interestingly enough the old last of my dedicated servers the old one went offline today I had done the transfer two weeks ago to the VPS, virtual private server, the new one, and uh, but I wanted to give myself again a, a runway just in case something went wrong with the VPS. VPS is uh, knock on plastic, is working fine, fantastic. So the old server is uh, no more today. Kind of a bittersweet moment because I had been using dedicated physical David dedicated servers for I don't know, 10, 15 years. And I've been using the same company, I guess, 10, 12 years. So it's a bit of bittersweet, I suppose, but uh, it's, it's a good move. I feel much better being totally virtualized now in terms of my hosting. And that's kind of cool. And uh, so going forward, I'm going to have much more time for vlogging, much more time for little mini courses. So, so as I said in other vlogs, my goal going forward with the YouTube channel is to get deeper into the business end and the uh, maybe the marketing end but the business more of the business end of being a developer but just even a business owner and a small business uh, startup type dude uh, I've been coding since 94 
but I've been in business for longer, a few years ago, longer than that, and I've had businesses in many different, well, several different sectors. And so I'm going to start talking about that, giving you my perspective from a guy, a middle-aged guy who's uh, had some success there. Anyway, Python is done.